Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. <clears throat> Sorry. Today we're going to take a look at Lightning McQueen with a sign. Now, before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So, I got this from a Walmart two days ago. So here we've got Lightning McQueen's artwork and the sign's artwork and the title Lightning McQueen with Rusty's sign. The car's logo. And we've got the sign in, in the inside. We've got the sign itself and regular cars one Lightning McQueen, which I've already reviewed last year. And the Mattel logo. And on the back, we have the the old school cars logo. Damaged King. And on the back we have Damaged King. Bruce Miller, the RPM racer from Cars 3, promoting the other RPM racer, Winford Bradford Rutherford for Car from Cars 1, again, which I do wish that Mattel would officially release Bruce Miller from Cars 3 as a single. If you hope, wish for it, it to happen, tell me in the comment. Let me know in the comments down below. So anyhow, we have Artie, Dash Boardman, Artie, who I unfortunately don't have, Bruce Miller, that I unfortunately don't have, Dash Boardman, Brad Windmiller, and Hydraulic Yellow Ramon that I don't need. And we've got the the Mattel logo. Empow says Mattel, empowering the next generation through play. The Arsene logo saying RSN, Racing Sports Network, 2021 Mattel. And I think that's it. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. I'll be right back as soon as this had been unboxed. So here we've got Lightning McQueen with the Rusty sign all opened up and out of the package. So. After the Dynaco 400 of 2005 at the Motor Speedway of the South of the 2005 Piston Cup season, Lightning McQueen was to make his personal appearance with his sponsor, Rusty's. He wanted fancy tents and a private helicopter from Dynaco, and he wanted to get all that, that and ditch Rusty's once he had won the Piston Cup. So he snuck behind one of the Rusty's sign and tried to sneak into Mac but failed when the sign fell off and was found by his sponsors Rusty and Dusty Rusty's, the Rusty's brothers and as well as his Rusty's fans. And I thought that's the part that when he tried to sneak in with, well, without seeing with the sign behind him, was a bit funny. Was it to you? And tell me what you think about it, the scene in the comments down below. So, anyhow, during the, di during the sign's diecast releases, it was released with Cars 1 Lightning McQueen in a two pack with Fred, which had been rescaled, then as a single a few times in 2016 as part of the Rusty's Racing Series, in 2020 as part of the Funny Flashback Series, during the 2020 Blue Desert Series, during the COVID-19 pandemic, and for... and in... 2023, or was it 2023? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow, oh, I forgot to mention one thing. The sign itself was seen again in Cars 3 when Lightning McQueen was greeted by Rusty and Dusty. After Lightning McQueen had won the 
Georgia Safety Horn 350 at Georgia Motor Speedway. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, for, so let's start off with the sign. So here you've got Lightning McQueen's artwork and a can of Rusty's and the Rusty's logo and his name signature saying Lightning McQueen and the Rusty's logo saying Rusty's bumper ointment. And we've got a and we and no artwork of Lightning McQueen on the back. And let's let's test the sign on Lightning McQueen to see if it fits, which I'm pretty sure it would fit. Yep, it fits. And it works like a ch yep, it works like a charm. So, ta-da! So, anyhow, on the undercarriage we have a, we have two holes there which they can fit Mater's tow hook. We'll put the sign back right here and we're going to let's and let's use try demonstrate this with Mater. Let's start with the back. Yep, it fit the tow hook fits the back. Now for the front. Yep, it fits, I think. Let's try this out. Hold on. And this works. Whoops. Although, oh, sorry about that. Life gets in the way sometimes. You know how it is. Now, this tow hook here is a bit too small. So, I'm, I'm hoping to shoot for the one with the working tow hook in a variant of Lightning McQueen in a two-pack. But, however... Let's ho let's hope I can try to have better luck with the back side of Lightning McQueen. And I guess this works. Yep. So, ta-da! And now let's pull up some of the Let's pull up pull up the uh, the other cars from the Rusty's Racing Series, we have Rusty and Dusty Rusty's, the Rusty's Brothers, and Lightning McQueen's Rusty's fans, Fred, Donna Pitts, Craig Faster, Andy Vaporlock, Donna Pitts, and Mac. And voila! We have the whole, we have um, some of the cars from the Rusty's Tents, well not all of them, but hopefully I'll get more Rusty's fans down the road. But what do you guys think? But what do you guys think of, think of this? Was the Rusty's Tents scene your favorite? And. Do you, and do you wish to get Lightning McQueen with the Rusty's sign here? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Let's compare this version of Lightning McQueen with the other version of Lightning McQueen. So... On the un as you can see, oh, hold on. Oh, so as uh, sorry. So on the undercarriage, this version of Lightning Queen has holes that that are compatible with Mater's tow hook, while this version doesn't. 
So I have so I have a use for this version of Lightning McQueen. I'm gonna customize it. it. But what do you guys think? Do you, does this scene look familiar to you? You tell me what you think in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!